come. All right, and here we have the teardown and uh, assembly, reassembly of the Robinson Arms XCR. And you can see, pop the back open, no tools there, pretty easily. Pop open this little pin, which allows you to remove the lower receiver. And it's a little bit tight on here. Just gotta push that through, get it through, release that. Next, you're able to release your bolt carriage by pulling back on the charging handle. Your entire bolt assembly comes out. You've got your spring. This is a piston driven rifle. Next, you've got your barrel, which does require the use of an Allen wrench to loosen one bolt. And then you can remove your barrel. This is what you would be doing in a caliber change to switch the caliber. You have a gas tube, which is just kind of a buffer tube for your gas block. And then you can actually remove the gas block and clean the side of that. So this is your Robinson Arms XCR pretty much disassembled. Everything except for the firing pin, which is not as easy to pull out as it is on an AR-15 or other platforms. But really, they've kind of um, designed it in a way that they figure it doesn't need to be taken out. Um, so far, I haven't had any problems with it, so they may be right. But it is a little more difficult to get to than it is on other platforms um, if you're messing with the firing pin, which really you shouldn't have to do that much. So putting it back together, and basically just reverse order of what you've done there. You kind of place the bolt carriage in the piston and slide that in place. It's um, really easy to get that in place. Then you get your spring assembly, slide that inside the piston and line it up with a groove on the other side of the upper receiver. Pop your pin back in place and you're ready to snap it all back together. Just shove that spring in a little bit, pop it in place, load your mag, charge your handle, and you're ready to go. Release the mag and boom, time to get going. Ready for duty. <laughs>